Well hello again and this morning um, I thought I'd give you a look at the entrance and the Northampton Marina where my narrowboat is moored so we're just about to go in um, it's got quite a sophisticated um, entry system we all have um, little fobs like a lot of marinas and uh, that opens the security gate we found that um, you have to basically wait for the gate to shut because there's a lot of walkers that there's a park adjacent and you get a lot of people coming in and then obviously they can't get out of the marina but so here we are this is a new Northampton marina the big building over there um, is the one is the Avon office block and there's the new Northampton University over there so right we'll go and find an arrowboat So welcome back to the, we've come to the narrowboat this morning and um, I'm just basically finishing off, still trying to finish off all these um, little jobs. It's amazing on a boat how, how long it all takes, you know, you think oh, what might take, you know, five or ten minutes can often end up taking an hour or two hours. Um, I, don't, I don't know whether it's a restricted space you've got or, you know, I'm, I, it's only a little, it's only, you know, barely 30 foot this narrowboat and I, I, I put tools down and I lose them and then spend, you know, half the morning looking for something that I put down last time. But we're back anyway. Um, I've just put a coat of varnish um, on my um, scumble glazing, which is still looking really good and that's just obviously to protect it because it is in a location that does get damp. And that's why I've retreated. It was a it was a plain piece of rather boring plywood there, a panel. It's the end panel of the the toilet compartment wall. Uh, so I varnished that, and that's looking really good. And I've got the last bit of cabling to do. I've got the main um, negative engine or engine to battery cable to fix. Um, it wasn't. It's it's a thinner. It's quite a thinnish cable and I've opted again, I was recommended to go, I think this is a 35, 35mm um, uh, cable, um, which is quite a, quite a thick cable. I've done all my own um, crimping terminals on this um, rewire. Uh, I really wanted, I really was going down the route as you know, I dabble in vintage electronics, and I, you know, I I can solder pretty well. I really wanted, I thought it would be best to solder these on, but then I've looked at various, you know, systems and ways of doing that, and here it's probably not as practical as if you were home. And I thought, shall I cut the cables, take them home, and make them up on the workbench at home? And it was all a bit sort of too, you know you really want to be here doing it and fitting it um, so in the end I purchased one of these um, this is quite cheap off eBay it's a proper heavy-duty it's called a hydraulic crimping tool I think it's a wonderful Chinese tool it wasn't a lot of money I think it was somewhere between 30 and 40 pounds you get um, you get a box with it 
um, with quite a few um, different millimetre sized dies in, in there that you put in the top and bottom ones and I mean basically all you do is um, strip your wire, fit your wire, fit your connector or ring connector in obviously um, and we'll, we'll have a look, we'll, we'll do this one um, but that's how I've done it in the end, I haven't sold them we'll see how it goes um, you know if, if the one <laughs> The ones on there were, were absolutely terrible. Some of them were loose, they were moving about, and that's why I wanted to do it all. Um, and I'll monitor it, you know, that's the thing. You know, this is this is not a liverboard, this is a little holiday boat. Um, you know, I can see, I can I can soon the battery's all very accessible. I can see, you know, if they look as though, you know, you've only got to pull on them and um but it's really has cramped, cramped them really, crimped them really tight. I have to say, you know, you can get the t the tools that you just sort of hammer down like a punch and hammer. Um, I've even known people put them in a vice and and do it that way. But what I always like, I, I did buy some um, really good, quite expensive wire cutters uh, that'll cut through this heavy duty, um, as I say, battery cables. And I found that you know this is a new piece of cable. I still like to cut the end off so it's nice and bright. You know, it's got the copper. This is a tinned copper um, special marine uh, fit, you know, cable for, for solely for boats. It would be fine for, for cars as well, I suppose. Um, maybe I don't know whether it's too heavy duty. I, w I wouldn't know about that. But as I say, and then I, I just you know bear the end off there just so you've got enough there so that slides on and comes nicely to the outer plastic sheath and you don't see any of the um, bed wire underneath you know um, you see some some they're done like that aren't they and you crimp it I, I don't like that you know as I say I like to push it, push it right down and you know you've got that much up there then and then as I say, basically, all you do, you you tighten, you make sure your release catch on this is tight, and I don't know how well you'll see this, because it's all a bit, you need about 23 pairs of hands here to do this. Um, you just basically slide it in, or should we try it that way round? Slide it in, and gently pull the handle down when you get it when you get it to a point where it starts to grip you can re sort of reposition yourself a bit if you're not quite like that it's if the fitting is sort of sliding out a little bit of the end of the and then I think we're starting to grip now And the idea is you do it as tight so you can't see any gap between the two, you know, um, metal inserts there. You don't want to see any light through those, and theoretically, that should be tight enough and you should have crimped your cable on there um, I then as you can see <laughs> my wonderful Chinese tool is leaking hydraulic oil um, so we'll back it off like so and there we go we have our crimped um, we have our wire crimped on you know beautifully and that is going nowhere. Uh, I'll just get up and wipe my hands there because, because I've got a lot of oil on that now. I didn't want really oil on any of the cable. And that's, as I say, that's crimped on extremely well. And ex I have I have tried. I even in at home I put one on, and then put it in the vice, and and tried to pull it off, and I I, I couldn't. So I was more than happy with that, um, you know, like I say, preferably, I, yes, I would like to probably solder these 
and um, I mean there are firms that you can go and buy uh, specific or you can have them made up to your specific lengths of battery cables you know um, if you don't want to do it yourself that's probably another way forward and then what I like to do as an added and I think it's good practice there again is a little bit of heat shrink um, this is blue I mean I, I know you know as I doesn't really you know not too worried that's not black um, blue is okay in, in my book you know for that it's I've run out of black I had one of these heat shrink kits and you know I'd be, um, so I mean blue is the next best thing um, you know you can still see it's a pretty black cable and um, and where it's connecting to and then basically we switch the we switch the so it's there. Uh, I just take that down and make sure that shrinks over it with a hot air gun. Um, I think they say this helps uh, protect, keep a certain amount of moisture, um, which is on a boat is you know no bad thing. Obviously, you know you do get moisture all, all the time, particularly in this engine compartment. Um, and it also must help it, you know, I'm not going to say hold together, but, you know, I mean, I think if the worst was to happen and this was to break, you'd hopefully see the heat, heat shrink, you know, um, tear on it. I think that's... Um, and there we go, that's... That's gone on there really well, um, you know, and that makes a lovely, uh, a, you know, a lovely fitting to my mind. You know, as I say, it's brilliant. Um, so that's one end. We can um, reattach that now to the engine, and then take the cable up, and it goes on then, obviously, to the negative terminal on the um, batteries. So I'm not sure how well you'll see this, but. Um that's my cable there to the engine, the, neg the main negative, and obviously then this cable will all be clipped, clipped nicely into this side here. I'll put all cable clips on there. So that's brilliant. You know, um, I'm hoping to try and clean all this engine up and uh, touch the paintwork up on it uh, later on in the year. It's uh, finding <laughs> it's finding time to do these things, but it could um, badly do with needing a real good tidy up and a good. Um, there again, it. it um, I spoke in a video recently about when you grip blast an arrowboat and how black everything gets. And I think the engine got really black and dusty um, in in that process. So that's our battery uh, end sorted. Um, you know, we've got the new cable coming in here, and uh, I'm really pleased with how that's gone. I mean, this is a very little basic battery system I've put a couple of covers now on both terminal uh, just because obviously if you're working in and you have tools across it's so easy to short the battery out but there we go so that's the new negative um, cable fitted and that was the last really bit of the rewire to do um, all I've got now is to um, tidy the cables up and clip them in and you won't see a lot of difference here, I know, but uh, here's my scumble glaze. Like I say, it's now had uh, the varnish on it, and it's been um, fully varnished. Well, I'll probably give it another coat. That's just had one coat. It's um, a quick dry, gline inter quick drying interior gloss varnish, and um, as I'm delighted, I've got I've got some little bits of trim to still got the top here, and uh, just sort that out. But um, yeah, you know, I think it's quite a, it's quite a, for these sort of ply panels, it's quite a nice sort of authentic looking finish really for a boat, um, particularly a narrow boat where you've got a lot of wood anyway. Um, so that's it, yeah. Um, we'll move on to the next job.